On exploration, the truth about lies. People miss 50% of the lies that happen in front of them. The ultimate cost of not knowing the truth about fraud, waste, and corruption in government and corporate America will soon exceed $1 trillion per year. The last 18 years, I've been teaching to law enforcement on criminal justice agencies, correction agencies, all over the United States and North America, how to spot when there are victims, Witnesses and suspects are not telling the truth about any particular incident that they're investigating. Imagine the value gained by learning the critical interviewing skills that will help cut losses from your bottom line today. And sometimes the only way to tell a person deceptive is when the voice and the body don't match. The voice signal by itself may never be deception. The body language signal by itself may never be deception. But it's when they disagree, that's the lie cue. Listening, observing, and asking the right questions are key elements for executives, managers, salespeople, and staff to improve communications, make better hiring decisions, avoid and resolve conflicts, and negotiate greater outcomes for your organizations. There's only so much that we can consciously control. The most common symptoms in body language are aversion. Stan Walters, professional speaker and author, is a foremost expert in the science of interviewing techniques that will uncover the real story. He draws from over 30 years' experience of conducting corporate and criminal interviews, including more than 1,000 prison interviews. He was a featured expert in National Geographic's documentary, Telling Tales. Just signs of stress doesn't mean the person's being deceptive, right? If you're interviewing the kid who's been the victim of the convenience store robbery, is he going to be nervous? Yeah. And if you're interviewing the rape victim, are you going to see stress symptoms from the rape victim? Would they fidget? Would they squirm in the chair? Would they sit with their arms crossed? Certainly, you're interviewing a new person for a job. You're doing, you've got human resources. You're hiring a new employee. And they're doing a background. You sit there in front of you interviewing them. You're going to see stress out of them. How many got interviewed for your last promotion? Hmm? Were you nervous? That's because you're lying, right? <laughs> Were you lying? No, what? You had a lot on the line. You know, that boat you had in mind, right? Or the new Jeep you're looking for, okay? Or, or the new vacation house, whatever. Yeah, you had a lot on the line. So stress doesn't equate to deception, but deception cues are a form of stress. Today, Stan Walters helps major companies reduce costs by hiring the right personnel working with the right partners, and mastering critical negotiations, investigations, and audits. I mean, that is a, a possibility. He's talking about the possible murder of his wife, and did you see how he was Are smiling? Smiling is a common stress behavior, stress reliever of the human being. Using needs. video clips from top news stories, as well as his own investigative archives, Stan reveals the verbal and physical cues that signal deception telltale signs that nobody can hide. The key things to look for in spotting deception, think of just two basic categories. Think of speech behaviors and think of body language behaviors. Okay, what'd you pick up in the voice? Speech okay, behaviors, look out. for phrases such as trust me, believe me, honestly to tell the truth, uh, why would I lie? What else? Learn from the man who trains the executive, legislative, and judicial branches of government, as well as major companies, colleges, and organizations around the world. So these behaviors need to be consistent. That's your next C on your, on your list. I just don't see it one time, I keep seeing it. Traffic stop. Trooper's got a vehicle, writing the guy a ticket, moving violation. He's already suspicious of the driver. And he, he transitions in the interdiction phase. Says, sir, you know, in a trap to stop the flow of drugs in a country that's drawing American way of life, you being a fine American citizen have an objection to search your vehicle, do you? The driver says, I'm late, I'm in a hurry, you ain't searching my car. Does the officer have enough yet? No. Okay. Sir, it wouldn't take long, just a quick look in your car, nothing to worry about, you could laugh and joke about it. If I did search your vehicle, would I find any, any, uh, any weapons? No. Find any drugs? No. Find any large coins of money? Why would I carry a lot of cash on a short business trip? I don't need to carry a lot of cash. Where's your home factor? Your home factor is where now? You know the home factor when you do what? Hmm. But have you got enough to do your search? No. Sir, when take a look, please sign this form. You can laugh at your kids. Shows not profiling anybody. I'll look in the trunk of the car, look in the glove box of the car. No big deal. You can be on your way. And if I did search your vehicle, find any weapons? Nope. Want to find any drugs? Nope. Want to find any large quantities of money? I told you I don't care a lot of cash. Why would I care a lot of cash? Use a credit card on a business trip. 
So when a canine unit shows up, do they find weapons? No. Do they find drugs? Do they find drug money? No. Do they find money? Yes. And cash, and stocks, and bonds, and gold, and jewelry, and bank burglary tools. For the largest bank vault burglary history in the U.S., Washington State, a $10 million vault burglary. This guy's cut $1.8 million in the trunk of his car. What'd he keep reacting to? Money, money, money. Now, if I know Lance and Kevin, they want you to resolve a case, save the waste of time and effort, because you got another one waiting for you in the wings, right? Can you save time by trying to hit everything or focusing on what? Money. That's where the stimulus is. Go to that one. Don't wander around looking for something else. So it's going to be consistent behavior. Stan Walters, a.k.a. The Lie Guy, is recognized internationally for his expertise in critical interviewing techniques. And you notice also his hand went up over his face at that point? That's a negation signal or neutralizing or like masking. That's also a deception signal. So the two Over the past 25 years, he has presented his scientific principles on interviewing and interrogation to major players, including the NSA, FBI, the DEA, U.S. Immigration, the U.S. Military, Walmart, State Farm, Anthem Blue Cross, attorneys, judges, prosecutors, and the U.S. intelligence community. If you look at the very beginning, he gives him two chances to narrate, tell me what happened. He has been a featured expert on ABC World News, Dateline, NBC, Fox News, CBS 48 Hours, CNN, National Public Radio, and leading newspapers and magazines regarding some of the hottest news stories in the world. Uh, this chief of police from, uh, from L.A. who murdered his mayor, that, that's still illegal in some places. Uh, they asked, when the last time you saw the, ma the, the mayor? Uh, let's see, I think he was, um, um, I, he was in the booth, I think, and he, all of a sudden, boom, he covers his whole face. Stan Walters is the author of The Truth About Lying and Principles of Knesset Interview and Interrogation, required reading in colleges and criminal justice training programs across the country, now translated into several foreign languages. Knowing the questions to ask, using critical listening skills, and recognizing the behaviors that signal when the whole story isn't being told will help you to consistently uncover the truth. Mastering these techniques will broaden your communication skills, succeed at negotiations, and improve the everyday hiring and business decisions you make that directly affect the bottom line. I got a six-year-old granddaughter. And I can always tell when Jordan would try to cover up something. Jordan's very active, very creative. I don't know where she got that from. Right? Big talker, big ham, camera ham like you wouldn't believe. But I asked her about who wrote on the footstool. We have brand new leather furniture and someone put a nice big capital A right in the middle of our footstool. Black indelible felt marker. So I asked Jordan, said, Jordan, do you know who wrote on Peepaw's footstool? Well, what did I get from her? The child was very active. A lot of gestures, what Jordan do? Grandma did it. <laughs> so her behavior stopped for that period of time. The change in pattern tells me this is the hot issue. How did the cat have all its hair get cut off its back? I don't know. Do we know who did it? Yeah. I surveyed 1,000 police officers here in the U.S. in 25 states, and I found in basic training that only two out of the five officers got any training on interviewing skills. Got it a low ready position. He interviews victims, he interviews witnesses, he interviews informants and subjects, and we don't give them those skills. And a good 50% of what they're getting in training and interviewing is scientifically incorrect. For more information on this captivating study into human behavior and the science of integrity interviewing, please contact the person who provided this program.